Hi folks, I'm Casey here, after a few months break from YouTube I'm coming back and I have a feeling that this will be a really solid comeback thanks to the exciting stuff coming soon to TypeScript. So the highlight of upcoming TypeScript 409 release is a really powerful addition to the language, the new Satisfies operator. I'm pretty sure it will become really popular across TypeScript codebases right off the bat, so it's worth to invest few minutes in learning it. It is also worth to invest few seconds to hit that like button below, which satisfies YouTube algorithm monster that I have to fit in every video. When writing TypeScript code, what we want to do is to ensure that some expression matches some type, but we also want to keep the most specific information about this type as possible for inference purposes. In this video, I will show you issues that we were struggling with in the past, and I will show you how Satisfies operator can help us to write a better and simpler TypeScript code. Please have in mind that TypeScript 409 is in a beta release right now. Uh, the official release is planned for mid-November, so I don't recommend using this version in your production code, but you can try it out in your side projects for running purposes. Okay, so here is our example. We have the union type for colors, red, green or blue. Then we have a type that describes YHSL format. We have a a number for hue and strings for saturation and lightness. Uh, then we create a color palette type, which is a record that uses colors as the name of the properties and string uh, or HSL format as values. Here uh, we can see an object literal of palette. Uh, it has red, green uh, and blue properties. Some of the values are in HSL format and some of them uh, are in hex format. And what we want to do now is to ensure that this palette properly implements color palette and then do some operations with it. So the obvious choice here, uh, because as you can see, we have some typo uh, that transition us from English to French. Uh, we want to avoid such typos. Uh, and uh, what we would do, the basic uh, like intuition when writing TypeScript code is to use uh, and type uh, annotation here. And it properly uh, detects uh, our typo. Uh, we can see that we don't have blue but blue. And sacre bleu, uh, we will fix this. Right now it's okay. Uh, but let's go next uh, to our uh, variable that we want to create. What we want to do uh, with this variable is to assign YHSL uh, CSS function to it. Later we can use it in our JavaScript code to inject it to the DOM somehow. Uh, but let's see uh, the problem that we will encounter. So we will go with the, our palette, we will reference blue, and uh, we want to like connect all of these values that we have in, in our uh, tuple uh, via the join method. And as you can see, we can do this because uh, TypeScript isn't sure if we are actually having a string uh, or a HSL value here. Uh, obviously we have HSL, uh, this is correct according to, uh, to our type uh, HSL, we have number to strings, but TypeScript don't understand it. Uh, it got like, the, the type got overwritten by this uh, color palette annotation. There we said uh, that the blue can be string of uh, HSL, and TypeScript doesn't know now if we have uh, actually a string of HSL. And this is like the heart of the issue that satisfies operator solves for us. Dealing with such issues in the past with TypeScript wasn't easy. We had to create some utility types, we had to use type assertion, which weren't safe, a lot of hassle, uh, losing safety uh, to deal with such a simple issue. This code should be simple because it doesn't solve uh, and uh, like complex problem. Right now we will use uh, the satisfies and you will see how it instantly solves our problem. We go with satisfies, color palette, and the error is gone. Uh, when we go here uh, for the type annotation, we can see that it actually knows that it's number string string. We got this type safety while retaining strict information about what we actually have in our uh, object literal. This is great. Uh, as you can see, it will also uh, detect uh, the typo. As you can see, 
the blue uh, the blue doesn't exist in the type color palette so uh, we are uh, safe from typos it also protects that we also uh, that we only use uh, the, the properties that are defined by our record if we go with with magenta it will protest because magenta is also not defined in our color palette if we will forget about red for example we have a problem here we don't satisfy uh, the type properly if we like mistake a type inside the tuple uh, for example, like right here, we we, pr we pass a number, and not a uh, not a string. It also is detected. If this is like omitted, also detected. So we get really strict information all of the type safety, even more than tab, uh, simple type annotation would give us. And this is it. I'm really excited about Satisfies. I think it will simplify learning TypeScript. Thanks a lot for your time and attention. If you want to learn more about TypeScript, JavaScript, or frontend. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you will be up to date with our new videos. Have a nice day. Bye.